Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have another interesting video here. Uh, this is a repair that I'm doing on a cluster for a 2001, I think it is, Chevrolet Blazer, which is not really that important. Uh, the cluster on the car was, you know, with a whole bunch of issues. So I am replacing the cluster, but the cluster that we have used, it has different mileage. So we are, or I'm going to, remove the sheep where the mileage is on this cluster and move it into the other one. I just wanted to show you how I do a bench test on these clusters. It's very different from cluster to cluster. Okay, so what I want to show is first the connections that I have on, this is a, con the connector that I'm talking about. The same thing for the radio and GMC and Chevrolet. Uh, you can get that on Amazon and show you. Okay, so, what we need to get is this cluster uses on, let me get a little bit of a zoom. So we need to get a B3 as a ground. We have to make it actually easier right here. So we see the A10 as battery power. We have a A9 ground and then A8, A7 and a5 so we need three powers and two grounds so that's what i end up doing in here so i got those three wires connected to power and then two grounds and i have my uh, power source ready to go i put them into 12.6 2 amps which is plenty for this so let me turn this on and now you see that the cluster comes comes to life uh, as you can see, some of the gauges are just like specifically, this is the reason why we're replacing, uh, but I need this. So the car has 127,255, uh, and I'm going to move that over to the other cluster. So I have an, another cluster here, which has everything working very good. Uh, I already tested in the car and everything is perfect. But it has 67,000 miles, so I need to transfer that chip. And I want to show you, I'm going to take that one apart, and I will show you how that goes. I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to have to stop and show you a little bit. So bear with me. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm, you know, that I just removed the plastic from the back of this one. Again, this is it. Very easy, just clips. I didn't do it on the camera because it's very noisy. And then in order to open the cluster, all you gotta do is uh, just lift this up from the sides, which is uh, the way the gauges motor are fit in here, I just like pins. So I just try to like lift it carefully, don't pry too hard. Let the pins just slide out, and, like come in the center. So do the same thing here. In the center it's just a uh, lift. All right, that's all you gotta do. Again, the set motors are just feeding to here. And so what we need to do, or what I need to do, I need to remove this in here. That's where the, um, RAM memory is, so I have to desolder that. This cluster looks really like brand new. Really, really nice. All right, so, and it has a lot of joints. Wow. So, I'm glad that I have my my Hako um, soldering soccer. Cause this is going to be a lot. All right, you're gonna hear a vacuum noise and so.
that's what you gotta do. Let me um stop the video so it doesn't get too long on on me just doing that. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as I got it off. But that's what you gotta do. Just you know, wait for the uh, actual tip of the gun to get hot, and then press it. Press the the trigger. This is the Hako FR three hundred one. So again, let me just do that, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Uh, that looks a little weird, but so I end up needed to use um, my micro uh, micro pencil and the uh, microscope to get a. Uh, some of the uh, joints uh, removed because even with that um, soldering uh, or desoldering gun it's still it's, you know I still were attached and I want to make sure you know I don't, I don't damage anything in here so I use the wick and uh, my micro pencil that what I was just applying it was just a uh, again the Flux thinner, and uh, this is a super weak. Hopefully, it shows up. Yeah, it's very dark. Yeah, that is a little better. Camera is trying to adjust. So as you can see, that's that's what I use, and you put a little bit of a flux, and and so. So looking in, in the microscope. Everything is looking good. Uh, let me stop the video and uh, well, actually, let me see if I can remove that. Uh, a look, yeah, I did adjust. Let me see if I can uh, remove this now, which hopefully it will come out very easy. Yep. So this is what you need to remove. Yep, uh, the uh, RAM memory is right here. And I'm not going to remove that, I'm just going to replace the whole plane. So this is the one we don't need. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other board and move it here, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, uh, I'm pretty much done with the other and that's actually one thing that I did this time, and uh, I just used a, a desoldering gun. And just hopefully, yep, it came out perfect. So this is the one I need to put in the other one. So just to show you that they're not the same one. I got two here. I just don't want to mix it. I haven't done any marks. But yeah, this one came out very good. So what I did is I put a mark where the sticker is on here. So kind of like on the right side of the cluster. So this is the one that I need to put on the new cluster. I'm gonna put the other two pieces right there. Now let's get the cluster here. I need to clean this a little bit guys before I can <laughs> Sorry. If I can start working here. This is just a mess. Gotta stop one second, guys. Alright, so this is a new cluster. I cleaned the bench a little bit because that kind of like clear coated is part of that. Uh, you know how they protect this. It's really messy. Alright, I my goggles. If I use a microscope, all right, so we need to put this on. And again, this is just lining it up. The good thing with this is it has four plastic duds that align it. The actual board, yep, that went in very well. And this is now gonna have to be done with a microscope. Put 
back here. Got so much stuff in here. One thing that sucks by, you know, with aging is your vision. You start losing a lot of, at least in my case, is a short focusing. Long, long, you know, like, not really that long. Let's say, you know, like this much I can see very well, but when I need to really get to see something very close, it's no longer, my eyes, my, my eyes are no longer able to, to focus quickly. All right, so let's make sure that you are all, all the way in. So, all right, let me show you just one, what I will be doing. So again, I'm gonna be using this soldering and the micro, micro tip, which is really, really dirty. I can see that I was hitting some plastic and I heard but Sometimes it's just impossible to see where, where you have around. And I can see that I was touching that in there. And it looked like the chip actually fell. Yep. So let me put some um, soldering and at least do a couple of them so we can secure the chip in place or not really a chip because it's kind of like a, a separate board. So let's do at least the corners. Hopefully you guys are seeing a little bit of what I'm doing. Nice thing with the micro pencil. It's uh, super fast to heat up and it's very good. I'm definitely going to be doing this with a microscope. But I want to show you at least, you know, a couple of what I'll be doing with entire connections and then retest the, the gauge. Make sure that we get the, the speedometer reading correctly for mileage. Yeah. Should be using my mask. All right, that should do it. Yep. All right, guys. So that's what I'm. I will do with all the joints and then clean it. And I will give you a close look of how that looks. All right. So let me get in the microscope. I'm gonna stop the video and I'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, I finished uh, Saturday and all those joints and uh, I wanna show you how that looks on, a, on the microscope. So every single one of them is like that. So let me move it around. Oops, sorry. You guys can see, you know, that's, again, all, all the connections are nice and Saturday. I cleaned the board very well. So let's go over to the other side, which is right there. And as you can see, everything is nice and sadder very, very well. Now I'm going to put the cluster together. Let me turn the microscope off. At least I can turn everything off. I don't need that no more. So again, uh, everything is done in here. This how that look on the regular camera. And um, let me put it together. I will do a test and show you how that looks. All right, guys, uh, so the, not really the moment through, but I mean, hopefully everything is set up correctly. So, all right, perfect. We have 127, 255. Everything else is the way it should. Uh, again, I wanna just to show you that <laughs> this is the leftover of the other cluster. Not even know if I'm going to put it together or not. I mean, we don't need that one. I can keep those for parts, but this one is working good. So we have, again, everything that I need. And uh, 
I will put it on the card tomorrow. I hope you guys like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I hope that you like the content. Thanks. Thank you so much.